Hello everyone and welcome back to Chrono Space Persona 5 Royal. Today we are going to be hanging out with Becky. But first, let's just double check. Oh, hey! <laughs> Speaking of Persona 4, we're talking... <laughs> no, we got Risei. Alright, cool. Ugh, gained a lot of sex appeal since she hit 20. Well, that's that's probably the appropriate age when you start getting the sex appeal, I guess. Better than when she was 15. Actually, she was, was she 14? Nice. Either way. No, bad. Uh, let's go ahead and summon or request Kawakami. Uh, is your room messy? Are you hungry? Leave it to Becky. Or oh, wait, did you need to request me? Something I want to talk to you about. Uh, sure. Thank you very much. Wait for me, Master. We got to be getting that quest like now. Hey, hey! I actually really like the antique feel of this room. But I have to say goodbye to it t today. Um... Thing is, I've decided to quit. My boss found me a part-time job that pays better than this one. Uh, Takeshi Kun's gardening keeps increasing their demands, so this is just what I have to do. Uh, is that really what you want? What I want... Takeshi Kun's guardians say the only true way to apologize for Takeshi Kun is by paying them. If that's not true, then what's the right thing to do here? I wonder if I can escape all this if I quit being a teacher. People like me have no right being a teacher. If I quit on my own, I wanted to pay them. And so I'm going to quit both my teaching job and my maid job. What do you think? Uh... I mean, it is true that she would be running away, and it is her decision, right? And I do need my teacher, god dang it, but... Uh, you know what? Yeah, just, you'll, you'll be running away. <laughs> Another scolding, huh? But you're right, I'm just running away. Now that I think about it, it's too late for me to stop being a teacher. If I really felt bad for what happened, I would have resigned the day he died. And yet, I still felt the need to teach. I wonder why I feel that way even now. Um... Try to remember. That's your answer. That's your answer! Oh, Kuhn. Oh, that's right. I decided the way to apologize... Uh, apologize to him was to make sure they, there won't ever be another student like him. So I might have been able to save him if I hadn't been more, uh, hadn't been afraid of the rumors or labels back then. I wanted to become a teacher who takes care of her students. That's the mindset I had. And now I spend all my free time at part-time jobs so I can continue working as a teacher. Put the critical work of a teacher on the back burner so I can make an apology money, to make apology money. It's where it all went wrong. You can't make things right with the Kun like this. Uh, mistakes can be fixed. I'll be the teacher I aspire to be. That's the right way for me to make amends for Takeshi Kun. From now on, I refuse to pay them any more money. Yeah! And that is my answer. By the way, what are their names? I need their names. Well, what do you think? That's the right choice. That is the right choice. You're right. Yeah, that's right. Confident stance. You can't get the right answer from someone else. You can only be found within. I learned that from you. In a way, you're my teacher. <laughs> Just kidding. But seriously, I need their names. All right. Whoa. I'm so worried about making money that I haven't been paying attention to my students. Especially you. I mean, I think you've been paying attention to me the most out of all your students. I feared my eyes from you because you were labeled just like Takeshi Kun was. But from now on, we're gonna protect you too. As your teacher, I'll never betray you. Uh, hmm. <laughs> want to protect you? That's right. You know what? I want to protect you too. That's, that kind of line only works when, <laughs> from someone old enough to handle his own household chores. You haven't done any of my chores! You literally come over and you take a nap on my bed. But thanks. 
I'll speak to with the Takeshis. I'm gonna go... I'm not gonna run anymore. Everything should be fine as long as I talk to them face to face. Alright, it's time for me to go. Thanks. I did none of your chores again, but I'm gonna scold you for it. Good night. Good night. Oh, is this Master? Thank you so much for today. Oh wait, I'm supposed to stop working as Becky by today. To be honest, I was kind of new in my heart. I couldn't go on like this forever. Yeah, I know, right? But I felt so stuck facing it alone. It's thanks to you that I actually figured out what I need to do. Um, you're welcome. So much for being a maid. I'll do anything for you. Come on, you realize you can't feed me lines like that anymore. Yes, I can. But I haven't given you any proper appreciation yet, so thank you anyways. Get to bed early tonight. Lack of sleep is basically poison for your body. This is true. So, good night. Alright. So, we didn't get a quest. <laughs> so, tonight, baby? Hi, everyone. Let's get started for class. Or with class. So, how far did we go last time? Well... Oh, it's free time. Is this on? Miss Cherno, please come to the faculty office at once. What's going on? What could this be? I'm out of the faculty office, so make sure you study on your own. Oh, cool. We can start reading that speed reader book. We could make tools, but finishing that book off what is going to be very do? helpful. I want to read, clearly. All right. Sorry about that. Also, it's only one little read. That's convenient. We can get another book today. By handling your eyes and braids separately, your efficiency. Mm. Oh, that's a pretty scientific approach. At least the illustration makes it easier to understand. Whoa. Let me re finish reading Speed Reader. You started flipping pages much faster toward the middle, so I thought you were skipping parts. I can already see that you're able to read it more efficiently. All right. Uh, your reading speed is improved. I wish. From now on, you can read at double the speed, allowing you to cover twice the material. Ah, uh. oh, the teacher's back. Damn it. What could that have been about? Uh, let's resume the class. Yep. Ooh, that was close. How come we help us get a good chunk of free time, though? <laughs> Nokum, please come to the student guidance council office. Nokum, please. Yeah, sure. I will do that. It sounded like Kawakami. I wonder what's up. I'll do that. Maybe now? Is it automatic? Oh, shit, it is. Sorry. Sorry to pull you out of class, but it's about the Katashi's guardians. I told them that I'm not going to be paying them any more money. I'm quitting my part-time job too, although I'm still in talk with my boss about it. I'm going to devote myself to being a great teacher, no matter what others say. I won't wa waver. So thank you for giving, giving me such good advice. I just thought you should be the first to know. Uh, Miss Kawakami, you have guests. The Takeshis are here. What? They're here at school? How long are you going to make us wait? <laughs> and again. Uh, ch ch we're talking here? How rude. I guess a student is only as good as his teacher. Obviously, you lack a proper education. You thought you could just call and say you're not going to pay anymore? Who do you think you are? You know. That's what I've decided for Takeshi Kun's sake. I'm going to make sure there won't be any more students like him. Who? So you're just going to get out of your responsibility? I bet you don't even care about Taiki, yeah. How are you still a teacher? Maybe we should really sue the Board of Education. Are you okay with that? A teacher who caused her student to die would surely be cause a scandal. I'm not gonna run or hide. I'm gonna spend my time taking care of my students. If you want to take legal actions, then go right ahead. Regardless, I'm continuing with teaching. I said that that's the best apology I could make to the cashier dude. Paying money to you two is not the solution, to say the least. Eh. As long as you're suing, along with suing you, maybe I should tell everyone about your little secret. You know, about how you're, your little sin as a sex worker. What? How do you... How so I was right, am I? What? I mean, the amount of money you're paying us can't come from a teacher's salary. Well, shall we head over to the faculty office? Stop, please. Not a teacher working in the sex industry. You're probably done it this time. How fortunate for you that you thought you could just... Uh, how unfortunate for you that you could... That you thought you could just leave Takai's matters unsettled. You know what you have to do now, right? Pay up! And don't ever call us again with this garbage about stopping the payment. Uh, <sighs> I guess I can't quit my part-time jobs yet. 
Uh, you can't give up. I know. What am I supposed to do? What about the Phantom Thieves? Would they even help someone like me? No, that's not that's impossible. <laughs> Alright. Give me their names! I can't do this anymore. Uh, what are their names again? Actually, you know what? I need their names. Who, the, the Kais? Uh, Takeshi's? Husband is Toshiro-san, and the wife is Hirobi-san. <laughs> I can never forget them. I send them money every week. Wait, why? You don't intend to do something, do you? Please don't. A student teacher asking the Phantom Thieves for help would be... I'm sorry. I was so excited to tell you that I had decided... And then it ended up like this. Just forget everything, okay? Absolutely not. Think about it, I'm back right where I started. So no be able to change. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so at the start, I need to go. <sighs> Alright. A teacher made to suffer. Good pun. Okay, so we still get to go after school. Good. 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 Uh, let's go to the library and switch books. And... What would you like? <sighs> What's today? Saturday? Do I want to go right now or wait to... No, I, I can't go right now. I need to get the fortune teller. Tomorrow, Sunday. Right, okay. Uh, I would like to return a book. Thank you. What would you like? I would like the borrow book. Uh, what do we got? We got... We got the kindness in you and the charm. Ooh, baby. Let's go with a learned dancer. Now, no one wants to hang out with me. God damn it. We got Makoto. We got Yusuke. I guess Makoto? Where is she even there? She's in the studio. Oh, she, yeah, of course. She didn't text me. Kind of a shame. But yeah, I guess we're going to hang out. I, yeah, we didn't change personas, right? Yeah, I still have this. Sure. I guess tonight we can hang out with the twins if Kyle Kami's not gonna be. No, 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 no. We gotta go to Fortune Tell Lady. Yes. Makoto. Hey. Don't forget to go to Fortune Tell Lady, please, Kloronos. Yeah, let's go hang out with uh, Makoto. Well, I feel like I just don't know anything anymore. Uh, let's talk more inside. So my class had a practice entrance exam, and my scores were significantly lower than the last time. Concerned. Uh, yeah, that's unlike you. I couldn't agree more. Actually... The truth is, recently I started questioning the entire point of my education. What do I stand to gain from getting good grades and living up to the high expectations my sister has set for me? I spoke to Eco Echo about this matter as well, but the answer hasn't become any clearer. Uh... Yeah, Echo, Eco. Hmm? Oh, you don't remember? Uh, Echo Takao. We asked her about her job. Yeah, at the salon. Yeah. Anyways, we've been calling each other every so often since we exchanged contact information. Because of those calls, we've actually grown somewhat close. It's been a, it's been like two days. When I voiced my concerns to her, she asked how I would benefit from going to a top university, but I couldn't come up with a good answer. As for Echo, her grades are not the best, but she claims she doesn't even think about that stuff. Apparently her parents can use their connection to find her a job. Hmm. But isn't that a little irresponsible? It's nice she can rely on her parents, but this is her life, not theirs. I guess that's just different, just a different way of approaching things. Even at that, her vision of the future is still clearer than mine. Hmm. Don't you have goals? I used to think doing what others expected me was the best way forward. I was going to major in law just like my sister did. And after that, I would simply have headed down whatever path society had made for me. But... But everything changed when I joined the Phantom Thieves. I've realized that now there are more important things in life than being prim, prim and proper or honor student. Honestly, I would have looked down on Echo's line of th Echo's line of thinking in the past. But I know better now. <laughs> she never knows. She must have known I was talking about her. Lately, Echo's been 
Tony, whenever she's busy, buy ma buys makeup or finds a cute new outfit. That reminds me, she asked me the other day what kind of hand cream I used. I sent her a picture and apparently it's the same brand they use in the nurse's office at school. Uh, that's adorable. It's not very ladylike. Why do you use it? Yeah, why do you use it? Yes. That stuff works wonderful for dry skin and it's great value too. Actually... My father used to use it all the time. Did I ever tell you he was a police officer? He detested the corruption in our society and worked tirelessly to bring it to justice. But despite the rough exterior, he was extremely gentle down, deep down. That reminds me. When I was little, I told him I wanted to grow up to be a police officer. He just like just like he was. He was glad to hear me say that, but quick to point out that he didn't want me doing something so dangerous. I can believe I forgot about that dream. To be honest. Um. <laughs> I like a woman, and you know. Uh. Hmm. That would be a goal. Amazing goal. Our goal. Sure. You're right. I suppose. Either way, after everything that happened, I have no intention of working with the police. Besides, they're trying to stop the Phantom Thieves. What am I supposed to do? Arrest myself? I mean, you could try. Huh. I think I need to re-examine what my goals are for the future. Outside the just the plain studying. Thank you very You know, it feels like I remember something important today, thanks to you. I guess you could say my viewpoint has broadened yet again. Good? Follow up. Lovely. All right. Hey. When I met Echo, I realized how narrow my viewpoint really was. I only just recently learned that a chemise is not called a camisole and a button-down sweater is called a car is, is a cardi cardigan. Why does the same thing have to have multiple names? That's a good question. I have no idea. I guess in the end, it's just becoming more aware of how little I really know. So please, help me keep fighting back against the, that ignorance. Sure? I'll see you later. Alright, bye bye Alright, uh, let's see. You're back. Next. Oh! Catchy! Ugh! We oh man. <laughs> okay. Mm, okay. 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 Shit. Um. We don't have a justice card. Of course. Of course we don't have a justice card. But let's go to the velvet room, get a justice card, and then go hang out with Akechi. Why? Because he's not always available, and I know I need to hang out with you two hey, as well. Me. There'll be time, eventually, probably. Crap, okay, shit. <laughs> Swearing a lot, Cronus, I know! Um... Justine, so tomorrow, the sun. These are the paths you have walked. And then... Monday? We get the... The quest? And then Tuesday we go to Mementos? We really only have one justice card, huh? A fee is required. That outfit looks Damage extremely uncomfortable, by the way. Done already? Yeah, I'm done. What? I'm heading back. No slacking off. Well, no promises. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Hey, good evening. I'm in Kijiyori right now. Uh, if you get the time, want to drop by for a bit? Sure. I had a feeling you'd come. Thanks for waiting. Uh, thanks, I'll be waiting. Yeah, thanks for waiting. It's like when, freaking you're at the drive-thru and they give you your food and you're like, thanks, <laughs> like, thanks for coming. Or, uh, like, when the waiter gives you your food and you're like, enjoy your meal. Hi, Ketchy. Hi. Hey, Noku. Good evening. There's actually a prolific cafe around, right around here. I was hoping we could discuss things over some tea, but... Unfortunately, my television appearance has earned me the attention of a rather extreme fan base. As far as they're concerned, anyone in my company must meet their standards of intelligence and attractiveness. If not, well, they take it out, take it to, they take it to social media, denouncing and harassing the people in question. I wish that I wouldn't wish that upon you. And she wants to have a discussion in a cafe nearby. With the knowledge and charm that I have, it shouldn't be a problem. But you, I expect you pass under, uh, you pass muster easily. All right. I feel like you should tell your fan base to fuck off. They're gonna do that. 
Thanks! The place is really quite popular. It should be open right now. Let's get going. <laughs> the cake here is really popular. I've been wanting to try it myself. Um, hmm. Well, do you have a sweet tooth? Well, I don't hate sweets, but I'm not exactly partial to them. Fads tend to be fairly similar, so I'm more curious about its popularity than its taste. Well, why don't you give it a try? Mm. Mm. It, was it was delicious after nice. all. I actually enjoyed that more than I thought I would. Hey look, isn't that him? Oh, you mean the guy who's on TV th these days? Who was he again? Wasn't his name a catchy cute? You know, the next generation detective prince? Should we ask him for an autograph? Might be something worth bragging about. Uh oh, looks like I've been spotted. Um, I can shoot them away. Eh, I mean, you did warn us about it, actually. So yeah, you should have figured. <laughs> She's just here for the cake, I'm guessing. I'm sure she doesn't mean any harm. But I don't want to cause any trouble for the store. Uh, there's someone important here. Who is it? Is it a celebrity? Looks like I'm out of time. I wish I could have relaxed a little longer, though. Should we go? Yeah, we should go. Um. Yeah, you've done nothing wrong. Hmm. Sorry, but I think it's best to leave. I'm gonna. I'm only going to cause trouble problems if I stay. A shame I don't have glasses like you. Maybe I would have been able to get out of the situation. How about we find out? Come here a sec. Come here a second, Cashy. Who am I gonna give you my glasses? Hold on a moment. Huh, wait, what are you? Oh my god. That's like nightmare fuel. Oh, he's back. This time I'll get his autograph or. Is that boy really a catchy coon? You know, now that I see him up close, I'm not sure. Maybe we're seeing things? I don't remember the show too well, but I'm pretty sure he didn't look like that. Man, your hair is a mess. Huh, if he was the real thing, I could have bragged about meeting him. <sighs> I can't believe you actually did that. <laughs> I suppose I better learn to watch what I say around you. Uh... I should have taken a picture. <laughs> Are you familiar with the legal rights of portrait or privacy, perhaps? Still, there's no knowing how things may go unless you try to give it a try, huh? Thank you. I think I learned a valuable lesson. Thank you. All right. Gained nothing from that, sadly. Except the catchy's love and affection. Looks like our coffee's gone cold. Why don't we order new ones? You could just drink the cold ones too. I'll see you later. See ya. Hello, it's a shame our discussion was interrupted today. I was rather enjoying having a breather with you. But you certainly surprised me today. I can't believe you got out of that with such a basic trick. It was an interesting experience, but I definitely don't want to go through that ordeal ever again. I saw firsthand what happens when I'm too careless with my words around you. Uh... Yeah, wasn't it fun? You have a twisted concept of fun. You're not wrong! Though if you dress me up again- if you- if you dress me up uh, just as me next time, I think I can- might agree. I could use a stunt double. You and I haven't ter- uh, you and I aren't terribly different in height. You sure- I'm sure my clothes would fit you. If we do this, we'll, it'll have to be careful plan- carefully planned, of course. I'll be dictating every, everything from here to accessories. Nobody wouldn't notice the switch, I'm sure. We proved it today. Most people can't see me beyond this vegetable. I mean, I think they'd be able to tell if I switch places with you. Oops, I'm an early start tomorrow, so I'll have to excuse myself. See you soon. Alright, so tomorrow... Sunbro. Look at that be at this hour. Let's go somewhere tomorrow. We've been busy lately, so I want to be able to relax uh, on Sunday. Where should we go? Uh, which, where would a good place to go be to go? Hmm. Fishing? Um. Sure. 
I guess. I don't remember this game having fishing. So is this new? Like, I know 4 had fishing. Because I fished a lot in that game. Uh, I don't remember 5 having fishing, though. Oh, yeah, commit. Oh, I got a bite. I hope the other fish will be bite this easily. Yeah, sure. There's an area we hadn't unlocked yet. Okay. All right. Interesting. I do not remember fishing at all. Like anything involving fishing. Guess I could have waited to respond to him just in case there was like hangouts that I wanted to do tomorrow. But, you know, at night we can get the Hey. Get the the home shopping network available and then we can go get a slushy or a smoothie, whatever the hell to call it, and hang out with Sunbro. So I was thinking about the future, with you as the leader and me as your right hand man. Hey, doesn't meeting in a place like this look like we're talking some shady business? I like it. This is shady. This is shady! Like, we're regular high school students during the day, but by night, you know what I mean. Man, this is getting me pumped up. Man, the fish ain't biting. What is this place? This is not a pond. This is... What is this place? I mean, the fish aren't biting. The float hasn't even moved at all. If only there was a master fisher around. Then we could steal their ideas. Whoa! Whoa, that's Kawakami, isn't it? What's she doing here? Aw, oh, crap, she's coming this way. Jeez. Two boys at a fishing pond on a Sunday, huh? Why are you sitting around like old men? Why don't you go out and do something more exciting? Oh, what? Look who's talking. Uh, adults need time for themselves to unwind and clear their thoughts. You'll understand soon enough when you start working in the real world. Ah, oh, sounding real old there, Kawakami. That's Ms. Kamikawa Kamikawa to you? For real? Holy crap, Kawakami could be our master teacher, Alex. She could, she's hooking fish like crazy. It's easy, just clear your mind and free yourself from negative thoughts. Impossible. So the trick is not to think. How am I supposed to do that? Um... Accept the grim reality of society, let go of all worldly desires. Accept the grim reality of society. I see, so when you, you get jaded like Kawakami, you just naturally attract fish. I don't think that's right. Ugh. That's a nice sunny Sunday. I didn't think I'd be stuck fishing with you two on my day off. Uh, two troublemakers and they're no good teacher. I guess we're perfect for each other. Whoa. She keeps getting fishy even as, even as she nags. I'm impressed. She's the, she's the true master. Call her Master Kawakami. Um. Mm, well, that might be pay, poking in front of her maid business, right? Probably shouldn't do that. So she's the true master fisher. Dots. Oh, he's washing. Once again, it's Ms. Kamigawi. Wanna head back? Didn't think I see something like that today. Guess we'll head back. I mean, sure. Okay, so smoothie. Sunbro. Ah, you're back. TV. Well then. Yes, home shopping network. Yes, Sunbro, I will be there soon. What do you have for me? Bodybuilding set. Completely not needed. I am a chiseled sculpture of a man. But incense, I guess? Oh, I never put anything in lockdown, did I? Hey, it's not hey. like I need anything in lockdown right now, though. Yeah, because I switch personas fairly regularly, but I guess getting additional, like, evade skills or repel or null skills, if at all possible, would be good. Though, with the accessory I have on right now, it's pretty not needed. But later on, when I start building better personas, then that might be good to do. And by might, I mean is good to do. What's today? Is today... The third. It is the third. We should go to the lottery stand after I get a smoothie to see if I want anything. Where the hell is the smoothie? There's a smoothie. That doesn't cost every time I go through, right? 
Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. What do you want? Give me the smoothie. It's kindness. Whoa. Well then. I don't know how chugging the smoothie is gonna affect nice. your kindness, but sure. Then, uh, station? That's Central Street. We want Station Square, right? I care, kind of. Out of the way. Yes. Check the lottery, and then we'll do talk to Sunbro. You have a lottery checker? Yes, let me check it. And... Congratulations! I won 100 yen! Fudge. That's awful. Uh, easy money. Sure. Summer Mammoth lottery tickets are now available. Okay. Welcome. Sure. What's S and what's L? Welcome. Or R. What does that mean, actually? I'm gonna Google that. Oh, it actually is the easiest thing to figure out. It's consecutive numbers versus random numbers. I guess I'll just get the random number one. Welcome. I guess. Oh wait, whoa, whoa! August twenty second. Good God, <laughs> that is quite the wait for a lottery drawing. Really, Jesus, I man. Okay, uh, could I have some of your time today? You can consider this a formal request. I have something scheduled ahead of the speech, and I'd like you to come. Uh, sure. I'll come. Me. Oh, I guess I'm gonna go there. Sure. All right. You now go to the Ginza Sushi Bar. Whoa. However, the go government's overall approval rating is dangerously low. Yes. I'll be sure to proceed with caution, considering that the grandson of a former teacher is showing me such kindness. Yes, well, I'd like to discuss a personal matter. Allow me to be frank. Hi, Frank. I'm Alex. I'll be running for my grandfather's seat in the coming election. I see. Congratulations. I held a low-level position in the party's executive office, and I'm an but I'm a new to the candidacy. So I was hoping you could educate me on how to run an election campaign. However, well, I was planning on running myself, but I and I don't believe that I'm qualified to teach you. I heard that you've been working harder than anyone else these past 20 years. Well, I did have a lot of free time after I lost the election. Study is all an editor can do. Amateur, you're a veteran, if anything. Besides, you have experience teaching him, right? Your reputation has greatly improved around the executive office recently. And my grandfather has expressed his intent of making peace with you now. Mm. I'm happy to hear. I'd be happy to bury the hatchet with Mr. Kuramato, but I'm not worthy to join his group again. I thought you would find these conditions favorable. So I ask that you keep what I am about to tell you a secret. You. Sorry, could you give us a moment, Noah Kuhn? No, I like. I would like for your favorite people to hear this too. Hmm. Wait a moment. Is your plan to involve him in so I can't decline? I simply trust his discretion. The Kurmata group is planning to move forward with a political realignment. Are you saying they're going to secede from the liberal uh, co-prosperity uh, party? With the government in a weakened state, there's now a chance. As such, I want to emphasize our unity. I see. Ah, so, and so you come to me, a former member of the Kurmata children. But my views differ from those of the Kurmata group, and I don't intend to change them. I understand. However, you won't be able to put those beliefs into action if you don't get elected. No, Kuhn, can you talk some sense at him? You'll benefit as well. Um, no, I think you should decline, to be honest. You shouldn't really... I don't know. I don't like dirty politics. Mm. You think so, too? Hmm? <laughs> You're not intimidated, even by the grandson of a big-time diet member. I'm not getting into politics, so don't worry. I appreciate your offer, but I must respectfully decline. So are you okay with being no good Torah forever? Uh, he's not no good Torah. Looks like you chose the wrong politician to follow. I s that's not for you to decide, yeah. 
try to understand that he has his own beliefs. My apologies. I made a slip of tongue in front of your secretary, no less. I don't need an answer right away. If you want to show deference to my grandfather, please let me know. I already took care of the bill, so enjoy. Now, if you'll excuse me. <sighs> What's the point of getting elected if it means sacrificing your beliefs? That's kind of true. I wish more people thought that. I bet when push comes to shove, Kuramoto Kun intended to lure you in. He probably didn't expect me to remain so calm after he showed me his trump card. I feel surprisingly at ease whenever you are with me, like that time with uh, Masushita. I apologize. I'm truly indebted to you for all you've done for me, but I must ask that you continue to help me. As long as you keep leveling up and giving me good speaking things. He didn't give me a good speaking things, man. All right. That was a perfect opportunity to give me like your best ability, which is probably at level 10, but still. You know, from the way he was acting, I swear Kuramoto-kun was hiding something. Let's say we go home. Ah, my apologies. We're done eating, so let's go home. Hey, charm! Well then, I'll see you again. See ya! I don't know why I saluted in real life. That was weird. I we're able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something? Yeah, okay. And I have speed reading now, so everything should be like one go. What am I getting that? I'm not gonna be probably making any tools for a little bit. Or that. Let's uh let's do the alluring dancer. And then we can get the last uh persona book. Mm -hmm. So that's what it means, right? I'm gonna be able to finish books just like instantly. Yeah, okay. Oh. I'm not sure if there's any books with like three reads required. Hmm. Cool. All right. So we'll go return this book. We'll get a new book. Then oh, we gotta wait for night for the fortune teller. Right, right, right. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's already July, huh? I hate the rainy season, but when it ends, it's just hot. The humidity is what kills me about Japanese summers. I miss the dry heat of California. Not to mention July and August both have 31 days. Summer is long. Now then, Mr. Noah. Two people are responsible for July and August having 31 days. Do you know who those people are? Uh, nope. Julius and Augustus. This is it. That's correct. Great, thanks! Oh, that's right, yeah. You may already know this, but the months of July and August are named after the Roman emperors Julius and Augustus. Augustus named a month after himself because he's an asshole, just like Julius, who's also an asshole. However, he felt like he was be losing if his month was shorter than Julius's, so he added a day! What a... <laughs> what a baby! It's a mystery why men are so stubborn and prideful over silly things like this. No what an absolute man-child. <laughs> I'm gonna name a month after myself and it has to have 31 days. Nice going. Good lord. <laughs> that's, uh, that's so silly. Well, as far as you're all concerned, you just got lucky. You, you just get lucky to get a long vacation. But before that, you have exams! Oh shit. Start next week. Oh no! Well, I'm sure I'll be fine. Probably. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so, first things first. Library! Hi. What would you like? I would like to return this book. Thank you. What You're would you welcome. Like? And I would like to get this one. Here. Hmm. Who is contacting me? It is Yusuke. Is there anyone else? The answer won't surprise you. Because it's no. Alright, well... I need an Emperor card. Um... Do I have any Emperor Personas? I don't know. 
I will. Yeah, hey, let's just go in and check. Yeah, you know what? We'll uh, we'll we'll play through until we get that goddamn fortune quest, which is gonna be tonight. God dang it! Huh? You'd Coming like to here. read the compendium? Read here. Uh, freaking emperor. We get Iligor and Regent. Okay. Well, I guess let's get Iligor. I no can't. Shoot. Really? Time for some. You wish to perform an execution? Kind of. Okay. So. No. Oh, we could do. Oh, Lamia. I'm gonna need that for the future. Yeah, okay, sure. Let's get Lamia, because okay we're not this? really using Hero Font right now, and... Man, Lamia, you're weaker than I remember you from, uh... From Persona 3. Didn't I use Lamia for, like, a good chunk of that game, too? Hmm. Do I want to get Lamia? Is there any other better ones? I'll oh, just get Lamia. Okay it's fine. This? It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Sure. Select the skills I mean, I, you'd I, like. Kind of sucks that she's like apparently has foul order, but let's just go skillful combo. We'll get this, 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 this. It's power. And that's it. Will be nothing. Then let us. Then I can begin. summon the faith one if I need one in the the future. Now we can go get Ilya Gore. Hi, Lamia. Goodbye, Lamia. Get into my mask. Yeah, we'll go get Iliagor, and should be good there. You change your mind? You Not like really. To the compendium. Read here. There. This I mean, we could get Regent as well, but then accept this persona. Done already. We could probably fuse something better what? from Iliagor, though. I guess it we wouldn't get the, the extra me. bonus trait, right? So let's go hang out with Yusuke, now that we have Iliagor. I'm watching people in Shibuya right now. I thought it might be... might get the creative juices flowing. I must say, though, I doubt I will be able to calm, calm down after the results are clear, made clear to us. For now, I plan to continue watching in Shibuya. Let, let me know if you need anything. Okay, let's go hang out. Hi. Hmm. By the way... Uh, I came to see you. Huh, you must have a wealth of free time. I'd like to speak to you about the painting I developed in Mementos. Do you have time? Yeah. <laughs> I hope you do not find it too disturbing. Wait for me in the blondes. I will bring the painting over. Well, that's ominous. <laughs> Yo, that's badass! Alex, this is a completed form of my draft earlier. Would you like... I would like your honest opinion, if you would. Uh... Attic? Yeah. Yes. Mm, as it should be. Yeah, I do not paint for the sake of others' comprehensions. It looks totally awesome, though. My God, this isn't how I chose to interpret the idea of desire. Indeed. It is the foul charm held deep within the abyss of the heart. To be honest, I believe my ability to capture desire so elegantly is all due to my you are mementos foray. I've grown to understand the in intricacies of the heart in a way I had not once thought possible. To tell the truth. Alex, I intend on submitting this piece to an upcoming public art exhibition. <laughs> Nobody has seen the abyss of the heart in such a raw manner before. The discourse will be fascinating. More importantly, it will shall be the spark that revitalizes my slumbering art career. Uh, yeah, I can't wait! Indeed, I expect you to accompany me for the moment, uh, for the moment it is finally revealed. The general public. Hmm, I'm sure this will be a most sensational experience for those who opt to undergo it. A raw and bridled look into the depths of the human psyche. And I was the one who was able to bring it to life, all thanks to your assistance. Thank you. You have my sincerest gratitude. You're welcome? I, mean, I just brought you there. Alright. Huh, I deeply anticipate the public reaction to at the art exhibit. But for now, I should be going. My apologies for disturbing you. See you. See ya.
I mean, you didn't really have to call me again. Really, thank you again for earlier. Getting a raw and filtered opinion was invaluable. I was able to come up with a new interpretation thanks to your help. I'm on a roll right now, and I shall keep up my the, keep up this momentum and apply it to the Phantom Thieves as well. Ah, uh, sh. Yeah, I look forward to it. Yes, leave it to me. Your presence stimulates my senses. I look forward to seeing what others' inspirations may come. I can hardly wait to hear back, uh, hear back about the public exhibition, so I can share the joy with you. I'll contact you again later. Okay, so tonight, please don't be raining. Okay, not raining. Ah, Good. You're back. I am back. Kanshiro got rid of those photos, right? That's what he said. Think we can trust him? I doubt he'd lie if he really had a change of heart. Looks like we're all clear then. Can't be sure for, of that just yet. You mean he might ha not have had a change of heart? No, I'm relatively certain he did. That's not the issue. Despite Kanashira's change, his organization remains intact. I can only hope they don't res uh, abscond with the photos. You mean, like, run off with it? I guess that's possible. After all, the loss of their leader does not necessarily spell out the demise of the group. That is merely, that is merely common knowledge. But the opposite sometimes holds true as well. Some groups that lack a strong guiding hand will simply crumble. So this all depends on which way it goes. We'll be fine. All we can do now is pray uh, pray the pieces fall in our favor. Hopefully Kanoshiro's confession motivates the police to crack down on the Mafia. I would love nothing more than to see them defeated once and for all. I'll be after Makoto's sis. That aside, we've done everything we can for the time being. All that remains now is to wait until the results become clear. Yo. Oh, or... That's right, it only takes like a day. Whoa. Oh. Crossword, who's available? Yogi. Mm. I would love to, to be honest. Man. But ain't ain't happening right now. I gotta go to the fortune teller lady. Nice. Alright, let's go up here. You're there, right? Okay, good. If she wasn't there, yeah, we would have hung out with Fumi, but because she's here, hopefully you're gonna give me the quest. Yes. Hey. Let's ask uh, Chihaya about the Holy Stone. Huh? She's with the quiet. Sounds like they're talking about the Holy Stone. You want to eavesdrop on them? Eavesdrop. Um. How are you healing? I'm fine. It's my fault, anyways. You, you, yes, said so. Said he doesn't want me. Wanna hit me? Oh, oh my god. But I just make him so mad. I suggest you break up with him. Things are only gonna get worse at this rate. But I'm the only person that cares about him. Good, leave him. Leave him alone. If I leave, how will he survive? Who cares? Please, is there any other way? Now. Let's ask the tarot. Our oh, divine power, shed light upon her fate. Yes, I've seen everything. I can sense a dark present within your boyfriend. His heart seems to be possessed by a demon. This demon may hide itself anyway, away at times, but when it strikes, it will bring, bring with a great misery. What kind of misery? You'll be hospitalized for severe injuries suffered in domestic abuse incidents, and he'll be arrested. What? Hospitalized? Arrested? I knew I shouldn't have let you, uh, you yet throw my holy stone away. He said I shouldn't be wasting my money on some dumb rock. I mean, he's right. But at the same time, he's a dick. But I should be giving it to him instead. Nah, you should be stabbing him. This is my punishment for letting him do that, right? Please, let me buy another one. What? What? You want another one? My next stone will be will need to be even bigger. I'm a little low on cash at the moment. You said I can pay up to 36 installments, right? I'm truthfully, I feel breaking up with him would be the best. I can't abandon you, yeah. For real? She really thinks her boyfriend will stop being abusive as long as she has a holy stone? This is a way that can be true, right? Um, people are delusional. This thing, that thing was a fake, remember? Mm. Right. It would make our job way easier if we could really change someone's heart with a holy stone. It's clear that she uh, has some fortune-telling skills, but that stone isn't going to do anything. Hey, Alex, why don't we change that Yuya guy's heart? I mean, he's hurting this woman right here, right? This is the perfect chance for the fantasy to save her. Mm. Huh, meowing. What? Uh, hey! Were you eavesdropping on us? That's an invasion of privacy, you know. 
Uh, it's not good to scam people. I don't appreciate your accusations. You see, some fates in this world are simply inescapable. The demon within your boyfriend's heart cannot be exercised by normal human mythologies. Your fate is absolute. Although, I guess you might be able to control the demon's temper if you bought a holy stone. I'm not surely entirely sure who you are, but do you know how any other way I can approach this problem? What's your boyfriend's name? Oh, yeah, full name, please. Mine? Oh, you're talking about Yuya, aren't you? His name is Yuya Uchimaru. Mura? 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 Why do you want to know? What are you planning on doing? Uh, yes, what do you expect that sh to change with that meager information? Uh, I'm gonna change fate. What, honestly believe you can do something? I can leave him dead in a ditch. I, I trust you. G goodness gracious! Exactly, yes, goodness gracious. I feel like he's telling the truth. Besides, Yuya has all my money. He's going to pay me back someday. No, he's not. For now, I'm, I would rather put my trust in this one boy than in 36 payments for our oldest stone. What? Yeah, and Chia, hiya, whatever. Oh. You, what the hell are you do trying to scam an abuse victim? You, what do you think you're doing? If you keep making false accusations like that, the Divine's powers will rain punishment down upon you. You look so pleased with yourself. I, I've seen everything. You're a vision of you groveling on the ground. Fine. Fate cannot be changed, and I'll prove the fa that fact to you. If that woman sa uh, stays with her abusive boyfriend, she will meet a horrible injury within a year's time. Now, if you honestly believe you can change her destiny, go ahead and try. But once you realize the errors in your thinking, come back and let a true expert handle things. I will save her with the Holy Stone! Uh. Well then, are you done here? I'm way too busy for this. Alright, so we have this quest now. Great. That means we're going to Mentos tomorrow. Woo. Some of you are probably like, about time, Kronos. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I wanted at least two confidant quests, but this even this this isn't even two confidant quests though. This is the beginning of one and one ending one. I want to talk to deaths. <sighs> Good morning, it's quite hot today. By the way, Kanashiro's deadline is this weekend, isn't it? His change of heart draws near. The Phantom Thieves will be even more renowned than before when this goes public. Oh, I can't wait. Indeed. I suppose uh, it's not a bad feeling to have your efforts recognized. I bet we'll be more requests on the message boards, too. I think we should take care of all the cases we have now. Well, we have the chance. I agree. I would like to get Dr. Deaths, but unfortunately, can't do it. Oh, right to... Oh, sweet. This right to after school, huh? Hey. <sighs> yeah, I know. We're gonna go to Mementos. I know. That is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like below. If you're not subscribed yet, want to have my videos so I can check out some of the content. Seems to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day. I can feel it. <laughs>